Uh, tonight it's going to be Modern Warfare Remastered Campaign Continuing. Last night, if you were on stream or you watched the videos, you would know I got pretty damn far in the campaign. I got further than I thought I was going to, because yesterday I got up to the point of the hardest mission in the entire campaign. This mission where you're a sniper... And there's a gauntlet of enemies coming at you, and you have to try to survive with limited ammo. And the first time I played this game nine years ago, I kid you not, I must have played this for about 45 minutes to an hour, trying to beat it, and then I finally did. Uh, I actually beat it on the first freaking try. And I was like, wow, I cannot believe. I seriously cannot believe that I beat it. I was like, bl blown away. And here's the thing, too. Here's the thing. Um... This year, I've kind of conquered a lot of my gaming dinosaurs from the past. The things that beat me in the past, I came back and I, I basically tackled them and defeated them this year. I mean, Sonic 2006, as I told everyone over the years, was a game that I played. I bought it uh, when I first bought my PS3, and I hated the fucking game. I couldn't play it for more than like an hour because I thought it was a broken piece of shit, right? So... Yeah, um, that was something I beat this year. Now I've beaten this really tough mission in the Modern Warfare campaign. There was something else, too, and I can't remember what the third thing was. There was a third thing. Um, there was a third thing that I beat this year, and I can't remember what the hell it is off the top of my head. I know I mentioned it earlier this year, but basically, it's kind of like my gaming bucket list, you know? The things of gaming past that whoop my ass, and I'm coming back, and I'm actually beating them now pretty easily and or getting through them. So, there you have it. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool to be able to come back to stuff from my past and, and re, uh, replay it and see how, I, how I've advanced as a gamer. Because the bottom line is, I am way better today than I was even when I just started on YouTube. I'm way better because I've played so many more games and I have so much experience under my belt playing all these freaking games that, uh, you know, look how easily I beat that mission yesterday in Modern Warfare, right? <clears throat> I'm not a political guy. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to tell you, uh, you know, my political leanings. Either way, the bottom line is I don't think either candidate is good. I think they both suck, um, and I'm pretty disappointed with the country. But hey, I, I'm I'm not the voting interest. You know what I mean? I'm not the person who controls the vote the votes on who the candidates were. That's pretty pathetic that we have this system where apparently the majority of people who voted for these candidates are idiots. I don't know what else to say because how can you get two idiots, two fucking terrible people, in the position for the leader of your country? Uh, you tell me. I would, I would really have a tough time, whether I were a registered Republican or a registered Democrat, I would have a really tough time voting for either Hillary or Trump, so I'm just saying that, so I don't know how people got into this fucking position, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. So you can see me, okay, and I'll step back, and we'll see if you can see what this looks like, alright, <laughs> this is it, <laughs> it's a big Doctor Strange robe. Okay, look at this. It's long. It goes all the way down to my knees. Okay, look. All the way down to my friggin' knees. And uh, here, here you go. Here's your... Your belt to tie it off. The Doctor Strange robe. Now, I've not yet seen Doctor Strange. I'm actually planning on seeing it later this week. Uh, but he is a neat Marvel Comics character. And, uh... You know, the movie just released this past weekend in the United States. I know worldwide it's been out for a little bit longer. Um, but this is pretty cool. Full, I mean, full-size robe. This is a real robe. Full-on, you know, it's, it's actually decent heftiness to the, to the cloth. It's not like it's weak or anything. So for cosplayers, right, you're probably going to love this. Or for someone who just want to wear this around the house and be silly with this big popped collar, Doctor Strange collar. You can also wear it like this, by the way. You don't have to have the collar popped. You can you know, push it back and just wear it like this around the house normally if you don't want to have the collar pop. But, you know, if you want to be Doctor Strange, you've got to have the giant popped collar that serves absolutely no purpose, right? So there you have it, the Doctor Strange row. I'll, I'll rotate you guys so you can see the back. I'll rotate. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, wow. All right, let's get back to the rest of the box. 